Hello from China. It's a lovely day today. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's March now, so pretty sunny and not that cold. I know I'm wearing my hat and my jacket, but it's a little cold, but not as cold as it was. And I'm feeling much better now. Not 100%, we're not out of the woods yet, but I'm feeling much, much better. I'm getting out of the house more. I'm going for more walks. I'm eating a lot, so yeah, positives, positives. So what are we doing today? Well, there's been a new shopping center that has just opened. I've been there a couple of times. Um, it's not a huge shopping center. It's in the middle, it's average, so not small, not huge, but right in the middle. Yeah, so it's new, so I thought I'll go there and show you around, show you around the shops. Um, the scenery, what it looks like here. Yeah? It opened around about just over a month ago, maybe around two months ago, maybe. Yeah, so brand new more or less. So let's go and check out the new shopping center. Well, that's it there, Coco City. I mean, it's pretty big, but not the biggest around here. But like I said, it's new, so I'll show you around. There's a McDonald's standard standard there's a few of the big brands on the wall we've got kfc ktv party if you don't know what ktv is it's like a karaoke bar really cool the nike store kfc camel champion i think that's like a clothes shop there's a domino's up there but yeah let's go around and let's find the entrance i must be feeling better because I've had a shave, look at that. I found the energy to have a shave, finally. I don't look um, homeless anymore. I mean, I like a beard, but the one I had was a bit, um, was a bit too much. It started to look like pubes, so yeah, not a very good look really, is it? You can tell it's new because they haven't even done the outside yet, so yeah, they are still working on it. The outside is not finished yet, but most of the inside is done. When I went in last time, the cinema wasn't complete and a few other places, but 90% of it was complete. So yeah, there's a Starbucks, Pizza Hut, standard, standard. <laughs> Oops, there must be a silly driver around here somewhere. <laughs> must be a Domino's driver. These are all the Domino's e-bikes. I had a Domino's the other day, actually. Pretty nice. The pepperoni one. And if you go around here, we've got the boxes for Domino's. So when you order something, they put it in one of these boxes. As you can see, some are full. I just want to show you this, right? So I think this is the mascot of this shopping center and if you ask me it actually looks pretty scary <laughs> i think it's supposed to look cute but um, yeah not for me i can just imagine it waking up at night and uh yeah just running around but yeah not the most friendliest mascot <laughs> i mean you could disagree you might like it but yeah not for me i used to think that's a nose like a clown nose but it's a bubble gum just a bubble gum right let's go around here actually this kfc has got that coffee place the e-coffee section i've only seen this in videos i've never actually seen an e-coffee place so it's the first one i've seen never used it i always just go inside but yeah I'll definitely use it at some point. Looks pretty cool. Big selection of coffees by the looks of it. Cakes, ice cream. Yeah, we'll use it at some point, we'll use it. Right, let's head inside and see what's going on. Is this open? No, last door. Right, if we head through here, that door's locked. We've got a bakery. Yes, sir. Got a bakery over there. 
It smells very, very delicious. Let's have a closer look. Look at all that. Look at the croissants coming out fresh out of the oven. Some donuts, cakes, tarts, egg tarts. Very nice. It's making me hungry. I've just had lunch, but smelling that, it's making me hungry again. Actually, I want to go in Starbucks because I want to check out the cups as I'm buying some for a birthday, someone's birthday, so yeah. I'm looking for Year of the Dragon cups. Um, they've only got this. That's Year of the Dragon, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's a bigger Starbucks in the other shopping center, so I might go there because they'll have more selection. Yeah, only the one here, well, two. Right. Right then, let's have a look around here. They usually do shows here. There's like a stage over there. Usually on a Saturday. It's not a Saturday today, it's a Sunday. Ooh, Nintendo shop. Let's have a look around here. I love stuff like this. Pokemon, woo -hoo. That's what I like to see. Pirate Pikachu, Spaceman Pikachu. Some Lego Pokemon, Pokemon Quest. Right, some sleeping cute Pokemon. Got some more down here. Look at all that. Got some more down here. Wow, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's look around here. Look at all these. Dorymon. Who's seen Dorymon? I used to watch that when I was a kid. We've got some Switch games over here. I've actually got a Switch, but I hardly use it as I work a lot, so yeah. Not a lot of free time to play, apart from the weekend, but don't want to be in the house all day playing games. Some big Pokemon over here. Wow, look at the size of these, they're huge. These are actually pretty big. Wow, really cool. If I had a huge house, right, I'd probably buy all these. Obviously, one by one. I haven't got that much money. How much are they? 269. Around 30 pounds. And this is 199. Just under 25 pounds. Not bad, actually. Not bad. We've got Tokabe here. This one's a smaller one, so it'll be cheaper. How much is this? No price. It must be free. It must be free. <laughs> um, no, I can't see the price. Some more Pokemon up here. Oh, here's the price here. So that's like £3.50. That's really cheap. Especially for the size. Not bad. Not bad at all. So the price of these must be here. 69 So around £8 for these ones. But these are much bigger. Let's look around here. The shop's not complete yet. There's still some empty shelves. Look at the size of this Bulbasaur. It's massive. Yeah, definitely not fitting in my house. Right, let's continue on our journey. So where does that lead to? Must be a car park. Showtime. What's going on here then? A mic. Looks like a music thing going on over there. Yeah, I think that's a car park. We've got the Adidas store. Oh, mini saw. Oh, boxing game. You're hard, mate. You're hard. <laughs> got a mini saw over here. Love a bit of mini saw. It's literally got everything everything got some care bears down here ah, i love mini saw i really do it's got all your essentials and just some cool quirky items we need a poo chilling over there i mean these are huge key rings must be a uh, girl's key rings i can't imagine myself walking around with a big key ring like that 
all that what is that looks like my ex right anywho let's walk around here Got some towels some toys like a lego set some kind of lego set and if you go here you have your pens pencils pads flip-flops so yeah a mixture of essentials and just quirky fun items dartboard look littler best dartboard player in the world dartboard player dots player <laughs> dartboard player what's a dartboard player <laughs> yeah look littler english lad i think he's only 16 years old and I think he's probably going to be the best in the world very, very soon. He might be the best in the world now. We've got some snacks here, seaweed snacks. Got some hot pot flavored snacks. Five spice flavor, some tea eggs. We've got everything, we've got everything here. Meat snacks. Look at all this lotus, I love lotus. Chicken feet, standard, standard. Boneless chicken feet with lemon. Very nice, very nice. And some dried fruit. Ooh, some coconut too. Ooh. I'll probably get that. Passion fruit. One of my favorite fruits. Very, very delicious. Right, let's head upstairs. There's some more shops over there and over there, but yeah, not very, very interesting for me. <laughs> Might be interesting for you, but yeah, not for me. We've got some kind of shooting game over here. It's pretty cool. An army shooting game. What's this place? Oh, this looks very quirky. It actually looks a little like a mini saw, doesn't it? Some water bottles. Yeah, it looks very similar to a uh, mini so. Just a little more bouncier. <laughs> it's like a club in here. Is that the Monkey King? I believe it is. Very bouncy in here, isn't it? Some more teddies. More key rings. Oh, Year of the Dragon key ring. It is Year of the Dragon, so yeah. Actually, I might buy some of these for gifts for people back home. Oh, these are nice. These are the ones you actually build yourself, like a DIY one. And it turns into like a music box or a music thing. Right here. I wonder if those are electric cars. I think they are. Oh, Neo. Yeah, Neo's electric, yeah. If you look over there, there's the local supermarket. It's pretty big actually pretty big got everything you need we've got a section for claw machines over here let's have a look around year of the dragon dolls some more over here any pokemon that's the question any pokemon remember we only like pokemon <laughs> ottoman very popular in china I think um, in Europe they call it Ultraman, in China they call it Ottoman. I'm not sure what this place is. Is it like a mini zoo? Does anybody know? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to go in. There's nobody at the desk. It must be like a mini zoo, mustn't it? Who knows? Oh, look at this. Food claw machines look at that if you want a snack don't buy it come and win it look we've got instant noodles <laughs> oh kinder eggs i love kinder eggs actually ah kinder egg claw machine i haven't seen this one before right so that one's new oh my god look at the size of that right it's got some juice I actually made a video before playing on the claw machines, the food claw machines, but in a different shopping center, not this one. Got some more snacks over here. Some tinned snacks. 
What are these? Are they crisps? Not 100% sure. Um, we've got more over here. Oh, popcorn. Got some popcorn, toffee popcorn. Some strawberry crisps. Got some Aladdin, Little Mermaid, and Elsa. Sweets, I guess. Sweets, yeah. Ah, we found a Pokemon. We found Snorlax. Finally found a Pokemon. Well, we found loads downstairs in the Nintendo shop. But not after that, not after that. We need lots of Pokemon, remember. What's this? Looks like crisps. Some wafers here, very nice. Um, more crisps. Yeah, it's full of snacks around here. Full of snackaroonies. Some chocolate dips. Used to love these when I was a kid. Haven't had them since I was a kid. Oh, there's loads. I think they've expanded. I haven't been here for like a month or something because I went to England on a holiday to visit my family. So yeah, first day back for like a month in this shopping center. Chicken feet. Oh, you can win coffee, Starbucks coffee as well. Anything different? Well, this is different. I don't know what this is. Yabo. Some more snacks. Looks like um, a wafer straw for your coffee. Some Oreo cereal. Yeah, Oreo cereal, isn't it? It is cereal, isn't it? Some shrimp crisps and some drinks. Right. Very nice. If you're bored, I mean, get yourself on one of these. Is that an M&M &M shop? Emmy, Emmy. Emmy and Emmy. <laughs> Emmy and Emmy? Never heard of it. <laughs> I thought it was M&M &M for a second. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Oh, what's this? Looks like a nostalgia shop. Very old items. Some arcades. Look at that. I think that's Tekken. Looks like a pretty cool shop, actually. Sweets. Marshmallows. Some honey pots. Not sure. Not sure. It's a pretty uh, cool shop. Detective Conan, if you know, you know. Choky chicken. <laughs> Some meat snacks. Is that crab? Good taste. I'll be the judge of that, mate. Some fish snacks. Yeah, dried fish snacks. Seaweed lobster snacks. Ooh. Some beetroot, maybe? Fanta. Oh, these look nice, actually. Look at that. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? I think um, a baby shop. Prams. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, baby shop. Right, so let's go upstairs again. See, there is a cinema. I forgot where it was. I think it was upstairs, but it wasn't built last time um, I came. It was just an empty shell, but it might be built now. I'm not sure if it was on the second floor or the third, unless I walked past it but didn't see it. I'm not sure. Anyway, it might be up here. All righty then. We've got a barbecue shop here. That food looks good. Some meat sticks, chicken wings. Very nice. My sort of food. I love stuff like that. A drink shop, yogurts, smoothies, dragon fruit. Wow. Dragon fruit drink. That looks very colorful, doesn't it? Right, what's this? Trendy entertainment. Is this a cinema? I don't think it is. 
Oh, it's like a, it's like an arcade place. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, it's an arcade place. Let's have a look around. Well, the shopping trolley's out. <laughs> oh, more food claw machines. They love food claw machines here. I've been here five years now and these food claw machines have only became popular in the past year or so. Yeah, because I've never seen them before. I've only started seeing them in the last year. So yeah. Noodles! Hot noodles! Drink game. Some Lay's crisps over there. Is she gonna be lucky? Unlucky, unlucky. What's going on here then? We've got a family gathering. <laughs> well, everyone's having fun. Everyone's having fun. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. Well, that's the exit. And it looks like there's another part. It's never ending. It's never ending. Let's see if we can see more food claw machines. I bet we can. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I thought we would find more. I mean, not many, but some. Some basketball games over there. Not sure what that game is. Some more food, but not a claw machine. Just a food machine. It's quite busy in here, actually. I thought the shopping center looked a bit um, empty. They're all in here. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Dorymon, some stickers over here. I think someone's won something. They look very excited. <laughs> Ooh, that was close, that was close. Unlucky, pal. Always the next time. Usually the highest floor in shopping centers in China means food, restaurants. And as you can see, there's restaurants over here. Yeah, usually the highest floor. That's where you find your food courts. Let's have a look around here. It's just after lunch, so they'll be pretty quiet. That looks nice. Meat, vegetables. That looks like a hot pot. Or a malatan. Not very sure got a selection over here so yeah it's around two o'clock everyone's already been for their lunch so it'll be pretty quiet up here looks like an art shop is that a t-rex i think it is some clay art paints all right all right all right Ah, I love the look of this restaurant. It looks very traditional. Wow. What do they sell? What do they sell? Some meat dishes, vegetable dishes, shrimp, beef noodles. Beef noodle restaurant. Oh, I think that's the cinema. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, look at these drinks. I might have to get a drink later, you know. Maybe this one with the dragon fruit. I'll tell you one thing. The drinks here in China are amazing, especially the fruit drinks. The fresh made in front of you. And the main thing, the main thing is that they're very cheap, very affordable. Right, oh, some barbecue food. Usually when I have a drink, 
afterwards I usually get a Chinese barbecue similar to this but uh, an actual barbecue shop so yeah it will be full of meat seafood a lot right international cinema I think it's closed let's try it out yeah not open yet still not open hmm it's been a couple of months come on come on <laughs> I want to watch some films. <laughs> right. This one looks very colorful, this restaurant. Some of the dishes over here. A lot of meat dishes. Some vegetable. All right. Very nice. Hello. Mm. Okay, just look around, just look. Thank you. Some meat sticks. That's the menu. Look at that beef, look at that beef. Meat sticks. I think that's duck blood. I'm salivating. I think that's tripe, if I'm correct. I've just had something to eat though. Oh, hot pot, hot pot restaurant. Nice. My favorite food in China, tripe. That's definitely tripe. Cow stomach, cocoa, coffee shop. Ooh, what's this? Got some computer games over here. I think it's like PlayStation, Xbox, Switch games. Right, upstairs I think is the roof. Yeah, the roof. And there's a gym there actually. And there's a very, very funny sign on the gym. I hope it's still there. I hope they haven't changed it. It's definitely a mistake because if they knew what they were writing, um, they wouldn't have put that up there. Surely not. I'll show you. I hope it's still there. Right, so we are on the highest point. Some seats over there. Right, let's go around here, let's go around here. I like it when it's empty like this. You can just walk around, chilled, relaxed. Some kind of tent over here. I think to take pictures and stuff. Um, I think there's a pool hall. Oh yeah, here, 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 here. Let me have a look. Is it open? Oh yeah. Look at that pool hall. Pool snooker. Nice. Very nice. Right. I think you need a membership to go in there. Not sure how much the membership is, but I'll have to convince a few friends to join with me. I can't be going on my own now. <laughs> Last time I came here, I'm sure there was a Japanese restaurant, a sushi restaurant. Yeah, you can go all the way up there and you can see the whole city. Let's see if it's open at the moment. Maybe it only opens at night, I'm not really sure. But I'm sure I saw one. There you go. You can walk up there so you can see the whole city, play area for kids. Oh yeah, here we go. Sushi house. Not sure if it's open yet. So I'm going to take pictures. You can walk up there again. I might walk up there in a second. Right, is this closed or open? Oh, I can see someone's foot. <laughs> so why are the curtains down? Maybe privacy, I don't know. It looks like it's open, yeah. Anyway, let's go up here. A nice place for pictures. Let's walk up here and see what we can see. Ah, it's a workout. It's a workout. Eee. Right. I think if you go there, you can see more. But yeah. Down there, all the cars, Coco City, and the rest of the city. Oh, they've changed the sign. Oh, no. I was looking forward to showing you it. Anyway, they had a sign here, right? Um, I think with two people. I've still got a picture of it somewhere. Um, and it said, give up 
just give up in English. Absolutely hilarious. I remember when I first seen it, I just couldn't stop laughing. Imagine going to the gym and the first sign you see is give up. <laughs> oh, I wish I still had it. Somebody must have told them that it was a mistake. Oh, it was hilarious though, it was hilarious. <laughs> I only went to the gym because I seen that sign, so anyway. Right, let's go inside. Got some plants over here. Someone just chilling next to the plants. Right, let's see if this is open or closed, the K coffee, because I need a coffee. It looks closed, you know. <laughs> I've seen the worker and she said go around. Why is it not open? I wanted to try the cake coffee window. Oh well, we'll go inside. <laughs> well, I just had a laugh with the worker there. She said, why didn't you come through the store? Why did you go around? I said, I didn't see the door. <laughs> so I ordered a cold cappuccino, a binder, latte, and it was dabao to take out. Get a cold cappuccino, yum yum. Well, what a carry on that was. So there wasn't any uh, cold coffee, just hot, which no problem. But what happened is I run out of data. I had no internet on my phone. So bless one of the girls that work there, let me use her Wi-Fi, well, her hotspot. So yeah. That took a while to work out and stuff, but got there at the end and uh, I managed to get my coffee. I was there for like 10 minutes trying to get the hotspot from her. So yeah, um, very friendly woman. So thank you very much for the, for the helper, for the work in KFC. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have got my coffee. So yeah, anywho, um, I wonder why there's no cold coffees. Maybe because it's spring, just turned spring, so yeah. It's still cool, but I thought they'll still have the both options, but yeah, anyway, hot is okay, hot is okay. That wasn't the problem. The problem was I run out of Wi-Fi. I'm looking for my e-bike, but I'm having a little issue finding it. <laughs> right, I'm sure I parked it down here. I'm positive I parked it down here. What is that noise? <gasps> There it is, there's old reliable, right. There you go, coffee on the bike, and I am going to head home right now. What is that noise? It's like one of those uh, toy guns uh, that makes all the noises. I had one of those when I was a kid. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, a day in the shopping center here in China, a new shopping center with my favorite mascot. There you go. Very, very friendly looking. Oh, we didn't go up the stairs. Well, when you go up the stairs, there's another coffee shop. And if you go that way, you'll see that supermarket that I showed you. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hoping to make another video for next week. That noise is still going on and it's very, very annoying. Anyway, be good, be safe, be kind, and I'll see you on the next one. Boom. I'm looking forward to my beautiful cappuccino. I don't know why, right? But every time I'm feeling down or down in the dumps, all I have to do is I have a coffee and I'm on top of the world. Is it just me or is it everybody else? Yeah, it just gives you that little energy boost, I think. Yeah, those happy hormones. <laughs>